want to control your reticulation or irrigation system with an ESP32 or maybe fill your pool up when it needs filling up with a bit of intelligence, check out this video to see how that's done. Hey, so this is the setup for the control circuit for turning the pool water fill on and off with this solenoid valve up here. Um, basically what we've got from the video before, we have the reticulation controller, we have the uh, what we've got here, so the full bridge rectifier, we've got our buck converter up here, we have our ESP32 here, we have our relay unit here, and we have our solenoid valve over here. So let me walk you through this circuit a bit further. So 24 volts AC comes in for, for powering the reticulation controller and we're siphoning that 24 volts AC off to our full bridge rectifier. And then the positive side of that goes into our buck converter positive in and our negative side of that goes into our negative of the buck converter in. And then out of our buck converter, I've got it set for five volts. So it's giving a five volt rail up here and a ground rail. And that is used to drive the ESP32, turn it on, etc. And it's also used to give power to the, the relay unit. This is kind of a simplified diagram of the whole unit. Um, and that is sort of the power side of this. Um, basically, when the ESP32 digital pin comes on, the relay will turn on. And if at the same time the reticulation controller has been turned on on channel 1, then we'll have 24 volts AC flowing out of here, either interrupted by the relay or pass through by the relay to turn on the solenoid valve and that way we've got control over the solenoid from the ESP32. Okay, water on, let's give it a test. Yep, there we go, it should go for about five seconds and then the ESP32 will turn off and then it'll go again in another five. Thanks for watching.